In this tutorial, I will show you a feature we have in BuddyBoss app to make it very easy to send your members to the Apple App Store and Google Play Store so they can rate your app. We are going to add a special menu in the app, encouraging your members to leave a rating and review of your app. To get started, we can come here into BuddyBoss app settings feedback, and then we'll scroll down into rate this app. The first thing to note is that this feature cannot actually work until your app has been approved and published to the Apple App Store and Google Play Store because the Rate This App menu will be sending your members into those stores to go rate your published app. So first you'll want to make sure that you've already published your app. We have other tutorials explaining how to publish your app, so make sure to watch those videos as well. At first you might see these notices telling you to enter your app ID in the iOS settings and to enter an application ID in the Android settings. If you see this, it means that you have not yet added the information from your published apps into the BuddyBoss app plugin. I'm going to demo this feature for you. However, the app that is connected to this website is not published, and it won't be because it's just for internal use. So instead, I'm going to use the Spotify app just as an example. We'll configure this so that in our demo app, tapping on Rate This App will send us to go rate the Spotify app, just to show you how this works. So I'll go here. Once your app has been published into the App Store, there will be a public listing of your app similar to this. I'm going to show you a trick. You can always log into your Apple account to get your app ID but you can also find your app ID from the public listing. So for this Spotify app, I can just grab this part of the URL after where it says ID, and then we'll go back into our settings. And now we're going to use that ID and enter it into the iOS settings. And then we can scroll down here until we get to the section for app information asking us for the Apple app ID. You can see what it says, enter the app ID that was assigned to your release app by Apple. This will be used to connect your smart banner and rate this app features to your listing in the store. So we'll enter it here and then we'll click save changes. And then let's go back into our settings. And now we can refresh the page and we can see that this option has become available to us. Now let's go ahead and add the application ID for Android. We can do that over here. And in here we can see a similar public app listing in the Play Store for our Spotify app. So I'm going to grab the application ID, which is actually in the URL. You can see ID equals, and it's this part. And then we'll go paste this into our Android settings by clicking on configure Android settings. And then on this page, we can scroll down into app information and we can enter the application ID in here. This will be used for the rate this app and smart banner features. So let's paste it in and then we'll click save changes. And now let's go back into our settings and we can refresh the page. And now we can see that both settings are available. So let's check both. This will enable the Rate This App menu in your iOS app and this one in your Android app. And then let's go ahead and click on Save Changes. And now let's go into the app to see how this works in the app. First, let's hard quit the app. And I can tap on More and Settings. And if I scroll down, we can see this menu to rate this app. If I tap the menu, it's going to take me into the Spotify app in the Apple App Store, where I can go leave a rating. And if I'm on an Android device, it will take me into the Google Play Store to leave a rating for the app. And of course, in your app, you will be sending your members to rate your own app in the app stores. So let's tap Rate This App. And it's taken us into the Spotify app in the Apple App Store. I can tap here, and I can go ahead and leave a rating. When launching an app, it is very important that you have positive ratings and reviews. When people are evaluating whether or not to download your app, to interact with your community and your content, one of the first things they're going to do is look at your app's ratings. So we've added this menu into the app to make it really easy for your existing members to go leave ratings and reviews. And we suggest on your end, when communicating with your members, that you encourage them to go tap this menu to leave positive reviews. This is especially important right when you release the app and it's new, You'll want to seed the App Store with as many positive reviews as possible so everyone looks at your app with a positive impression.